After residents of a wealthy neighborhood demanded the city take in more migrants, they instantly regretted their decision when they received a heaping dose of their own leftist policy in action. While most liberals have good intentions, when it comes to the migrant issue, their common sense has been substituted for compassion, leaving them unable to forecast the consequences of an open borders society. Although a multicultural world is a proverbial utopia, in theory, reality proves that not all cultures are created equal. In fact, some are fundamentally violent and oppressive. When the left-leaning residents of an upscale Parisian suburb supported the politicians promising to import thousands of more migrants, most who hail from Muslim regimes, the well-intentioned elitists likely believe themselves to be morally superior to their conservative counterparts. Likewise, they probably expected that the new arrivals would be housed in some other neighborhood far away from their luxurious, gated communities and posh clubs. What they soon realized is that they'd be required to live under the leftist policies they so often enforce on everyone else. At the end of March 2018, Liberal residents of the wealthy 16th arrondissement of Paris discovered that, after supporting policies to import migrants, 170 of the new arrivals would be housed right in the center of their posh neighborhood, and many of the upper-class locals are outraged over the invasion. RT reports that hundreds of migrants, nearly all of whom are Muslim men, were evicted from their tent city along the French canals to be moved into a newly erected refugee center in Bois de Boulogne Park, which is located in the wealthy Parisian district. Immediately, the left-leaning community changed their tune from demanding open borders to expressing concern for the threat of importing hordes of migrants. Perhaps the biggest irony of the migrant explosion is that the neighborhood is home to former President Nicolas Sarkozy, who is responsible for importing hordes of Muslim migrants into France. Fearing that she may be viewed as a racist Islamophobe, one resident seemingly disguised her own fear over the new arrivals by laying the blame for the opposition to the move at the feet of old people, who she patronized as closed-minded. Still, others took solace in managing to avoid coming into contact with the potentially dangerous migrant men. One resident told RT that her life has luckily been unaffected by the migrant center so far. Of course, once the few hundred grows to the thousands, causing violent sex crimes to spike like they have in the surrounding areas, the resident might feel differently. This is an inevitability, since more than 500 new migrants arrive in Paris each week. The move came after Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo advocated for the building of a new welcome center for migrants in the area, according to France Blue. She attempted to justify her decision to RT by claiming that it was the only option possible if we want to avoid the roadside camps. Leftists always support multiculturalism until they are forced to live under it themselves. Suddenly, what they deemed good for the country is a burden and danger to their way of life. Still, they must blame those fighting to protect their culture, values, and freedoms for not being open-minded enough instead of taking responsibility for their own political failures. This should be the standard for anyone who supports open borders and the left's idea of multiculturalism. They should be required to live according to their own values, not forcing their beliefs on poorer communities miles away from their own, gated communities and ivory.